It's being called an unprecedented display of international cooperation to protect the world's environment. The Montreal Protocol, signed today, aims at stopping the deterioration of the ozone layer in the atmosphere. That's the layer which shields us from damaging ultraviolet radiation from the sun. But there's a lot of work ahead before the commitments become a reality, as our science specialist Eve Savory reports. Congo. In the end, only 24 of the 49 eligible countries signed. But most of the others intend to soon. And if enough of them ratify the protocol, it is probably not too dramatic to say they may have saved the world. The Montreal Protocol improves the odds in the risky game the world has been playing with its own future. It wasn't easy. The delegates had lobbied and negotiated and twisted arms until they were bleary-eyed. But now they had it. By the end of the century, the chemicals that are eating away at the layer of ozone, which protects us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, will be cut in half. The chemicals are used in thousands of products, from the freezer at the cafeteria to its takeout containers to the foam in your office chair. We are going to have to rethink as a society all the products that we take for granted because many of them simply will not be able to be produced or if they can be produced, will have to be produced in a significantly different way. There are two ways Canada might reach its 50% goal. What we do is we go to the two producers in Canada and say, you cut your production by X percent. That's what we do on one hand. Or we could do as we did 10 years ago with aerosols. We might want to ban packaging. We might want to ban the use of CFCs as solvents. Whatever. Within 12 years, many of our everyday products will be different. But is it enough? No one really knows. That's because although the negotiators think the crisis brewing up there has been averted by the process they started today, no one really knows what goes on where the sun meets the stratosphere. Eve Savory, CBC News, Montreal.